Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments, or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smoke stacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no more. Stay away, my lord! The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Let's go, Nobu!
Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Good. Fight me! As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. <laughs> Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds, even using fear as a weapon. Hey, arvo, yasunbe.
Udo kick to Harta. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai, or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks, it helps accent your chosen playstyle. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. wouldn't be a sucker punch game if it didn't have photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. We have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed, you can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. The Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on.
Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of samurai cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. 